Hi, my name is Adam Larson, and today I'm going to talk to you about ways to effectively work on the altissimo register of the saxophone. So for me, whenever I'm working on altissimo, I try to take small things that I can play easily in a easy register of my horn and try to adapt them to the altissimo register of my horn. For instance, one of the studies that I do um, to get around the horn every day in my practice routine is actually uh, a brass study that goes like this. and so on and so forth. So the essence of what I do with this, or any other little small pattern like this, is I try to put it up into the other octave, or the altissimo. And I try to do this very, very, very slowly um, and patiently because uh, it's very hard to do. But in effect, uh, again, you're taking something that you know, that you uh, are confident in, in one register, and you're just trying to apply it into the next register. So here's an example of playing that uh, exercise I just played. Up into the next register. So as you can hear, I took the exercise that I played in the lower octave and I just put it up an octave into the altissimo. In addition to playing some small little exercises uh, and then putting them up an octave, I think a really good way to start ingraining altissimo into your playing is uh, by playing some kind of line-based or vocabulary-driven um, exercise so that you feel that you're not just playing um, exercises and scale patterns in the altissimo, but that you're actually playing ideas. So for instance, uh, one of the lines that I've been working on currently um, is a 2-5-1 uh, type line that sounds like this. So that's obviously starting on the lower end of my horn and ending in the middle part of my horn. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this line and try to adapt it the best I can into the altissimo register of the horn. So it sounds like this. So again, you can hear that obviously the difference in the range is that I'm getting to the altissimo, the upper part of the saxophone. And again, I think that this is a great way to supplement perhaps some easier scale exercises that you may be working on uh, to work on the altissimo by putting some language, some things that you might actually play in a solo or things that you've already know in other ranges of your horn line-wise and just trying to put it in the upper octave. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you're able to use this to your benefit.